I knew that he'd become vegan and I used the quotes because I asked him, I said, oh, how's the veganism going? And he said, plant-based. Hello everybody, welcome back to London Vegans, I'm Phil and this, no hang on, wrong way, <laughs> this is Paul in California. California, hey here we go, yeah. How are you yeah. in the week that we've not spoken? Oh, like so much better. I got some good sleep, I was able to work out, I was able to not convince people to go vegan. <laughs> I saw something on your Instagram which was you saying that you're minimalizing everything. That, that was quite a while ago, I think. Was that a New Year resolution thing? Oh, I know, yeah. Like, whenever I'm on calls for work, they're like, oh, I like your hotel room. And I go, this is how I live. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize we're like the Brady Bunch? <laughs> it's like you're to my, to my left or right if you're watching. And we should have people above and below. Well, one of my favorite movies are the, the parody movies, the Brady Bunch, you know, movie and then the, the very pretty sequel they're they're absolutely hilarious like yeah we just wanted to tease something that's coming up because we're getting ready for a new game show it's called would you rather yes Ooh, it's gonna be fun it's basically like mr and mrs like people in the uk will know mr and mrs i sent you a video clip have you ever seen that game show before no i've never seen it but the premise is very easy it's like a game to decide who knows their other half better so that's what we're gonna do, although we're not obviously partners. I just wanted to say hello and thank you to a really good friend of mine, Andrew, who's based in Southsea. Have you ever been to Portsmouth on the south no, coast yeah. of England? I actually lived there for about eight years and that's when I know, uh, that's when I got to know Andrew and his other half, Rob. His husband, I should say, because they're married. They've been married for a good few years now. But they run a company called Createeks, so they make wedding dresses, but they also make candles as part of a company called Bustle and Bertie. And if I can just show you this, there we go, there's the logo. What type of bird is that? It's not a, an egret. A hummingbird? Uh, hang on, I'm just trying to, there we go, can you see Candle, it? Candle, pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it in frame because I've, I've got split screen. <laughs> oh, it's pomegranate noir. Ooh, I know, like very pomegranate. posh. So this one, I just wish I could show you, I'd like show you the smell, actually hand it over. It's almost like mm. scratch and sniff. I'm smelling. I'm smelling. It's so amazing. It's such a, such a gorgeous smell. And the best thing about these is that obviously they're cruelty free and vegan because they're made with soy. The wax is made from soy. That's um, soy, right? But they're not <laughs> tested on animals either. And this one is probably that's a bit great. more pungent. It's velvet, rose and oud. But that's that's a bit stronger than the other one. Mm. But check them out. They're Bustle and Bertie. And they're vegan and cruelty free. So pretty. thank you, Andrew. Here we go. Thank I you, Andrew. I just wanted to do that. I just wanted to give them a plug. <laughs> So anyway, how have you been? Let's have a catch up. Well, I, I heard that you, um, you know, what's going on with you and Buddy? Buddy? Oh crap. No, 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 your dog. Teddy. 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 Well, he's my buddy too, even though I've never met him. Sorry, he's, Teddy. Yeah, he's, he's been a bit oh, nuts. I, I, I blame lockdown because it makes you go a bit nuts, doesn't it? He's been barking a lot. He's been barking at people, barking at skateboards, barking at bikes barking when there's dogs outside it just goes completely crazy but we're we're training him with treats to calm down calm the f down because he goes a bit yeah it does go How a bit old insane. Is he now? he's 15 months now oh so, he's yeah. becoming a dog he is he's still in puppy face for another five or six months i think it's till there too isn't it are you ever going to get a dog do you think have you ever had a dog Oh yeah, I had a dog. Her name was Tippy. Oh, she was, I adopted her too, and she was like an older puppy. And um, I, a lot of people right now during like COVID are really contemplating, you know, adopting a dog. And I go, it helps if you have a second person. And you're probably realizing that, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, because they're hard work. Wait, who was the one that originally wanted him? It was both of us, probably, oh. but Jeremy's never had a dog before. He's always had cats. Well, how do you like kids? Because uh, dogs are supposed to be one step below having a kid. I, I can't stand kids. That's awful, isn't it? I would, <laughs> like, if I, if, it, if I ever had to babysit, I would just want to give it back straight away. <laughs> I'm not paternal at all. Oh, so see, I am. Like, I, I absolutely adore kids. I love kids. Oh. I studied to be a kinder teacher, yeah, a primary school teacher. Well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Thank God there are no questions about <laughs> children on this list for this game show that we're going to do on the <laughs> next video. 
What question do you think I would have asked? Would you like to own children or burn children? <laughs> Say I would, yeah, I probably would have said yes. No, no, you know what I mean? What I meant by burn children, not like burn them alive, like burn like, you call those shoes. Oh, like, yeah, like being shady. <laughs> Honestly, Paul, you're such a bad influence. No, you know, I found out you'll get taken off of YouTube if uh, you show like nudity and stuff like that, but you can swear, so. How about it? But you're the best person to ask about all that kind of advice thing, because you work for Google, as we found out in the last video. I work at Google, I do video for Google, so. You do, well I've always known, because I've, I've known that right from the start, but a lot of people didn't know. But you have been on a lot of our videos, you, you were on a lot a couple of years ago. Yeah, and I really, I really, really enjoyed going out because, you know, now, especially with COVID-19, it's like, where do you go? Um, we didn't have much to begin with. And back then I lived in LA when they actually would have some type of uh, if, uh, vegan events, maybe like once a year, twice a year. Yeah. Uh, just depend on who put it on. But here in Silicon Valley, like there's like, I, I mean, unless you go to a farmer's market, that's it. So veganism, you, you were talking about this on the last one. You You think it's on the... Well, it's on the rise, isn't it? A lot more people are becoming familiar with it. That it's not so alien to, to people now. Well, I think because a lot of people are watching stuff streaming now, like Netflix and and, and such like that. Uh, you know, well, I I talked to someone. They're like, "Oh, Zach, Zach Efron, he's a vegan now," and they're all fascinated by it. <laughs> I met him once. I met him on the red carpet because he was. Um, I was at a film premiere for the Ted Bundy movie that he did. Did you see that oh. that he was in? And um, I knew that he'd become vegan, and I used the quotes because I asked him, I said, oh, how's the veganism going? And he said, plant-based. Guys, I gotta pull him this one, I'm so sorry. Right here, you're sorry, guys, right here. Plant-based. Guys, right here. One question, ladies. Maybe he was just, I don't know, kind of preempting that people were going to be on his back about the whole animal rights thing, because I think it was a, it was more for um, health and a diet for him. I don't think it was an animal rights issue or a welfare yeah, I think, issue. I think you're right, because there's, um, his series is on Netflix. Oh my God, I'm totally selling this series <laughs> on Netflix. He looks amazing, doesn't he? Yeah, see, so whenever I look up photos of like bodybuilders or people who are really in shape, I'll go like, look, that's the body of a vegan. I think we talked about this last time. You put your face on scenes from Psycho and they were just, it just fascinated me. I kept looking at them going, okay, that one looks like Phil. That one really looks like Phil. That one's <laughs> Weird looking. <laughs> that was like really fun, one. actually. That's the Reface app, which allows you to, if people don't know, to put your face into pop stars' bodies or uh, movie movie scenes. And yeah, and I did Psycho because I love Psycho. Because the the one where you're the sister and the blonde hair, and you go, <gasps> it looks just like you with like. <laughs> it's amazing. That's me in drag, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I would look like if I did drag. Well, I have done drag in the past, a long time ago, though. Wait, you did? I need to see photos. That's for another video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the next video is Would You Rather? Very excited about this new game show for London Vegans. I'm like, like, that's one thing I'm like too animated. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> and we're back with Polly. Did you notice on our last video, we were back with Polly? Did you see us, our chat in the park? Yeah, I, I put as many likes as I possibly could in one second. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll see you on the next video. Looking forward to this new game show. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And pull. Thumbs up. <laughs> or Phil, if I'm pointing the right way. Or Phil, pointing that way. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Over and out from us. Goodbye. <laughs> Do the dance, Paul.